What song has summed up your quarantine? What song has summed up my quarantine? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be contributing to the quarantine baby boom? What is that? A Are quarantine you... baby boom? Yes. Is that Are a you... thing? I think so. It may be. Who knows? I... <laughs> Kyle's like, let me take another drink. Um... <laughs> no. I love being Aunt Kelly, and that is perfecto for me. I love it. I love it. Any kitchen disasters since you've been home? Kitchen dis... Oh my gosh. So I was... can't. This just happened like probably three or four nights ago. I was canning beets and I pull one of the beets out of the boiling water. Uh -huh. It was already canned. It was like in a jar like this. And all I did was I had these like gloves on that were slippery mm -hmm. and I was just making sure it was good. It had already popped so I knew it was sealed but I just kind of went like this and it slipped out of my gloves no. onto the floor, busted everywhere. It looked like a crime scene. <gasps> I mean, it was just purple, reddish beet blood juice everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> chunks of beets everywhere. There's, I'm still cleaning that mess up. Have you binge watched any TV shows? But I love Grace and Frankie. Yes, yes, that's a good one. I love them. Do you, um, do you ever go back and watch any of your old American Idol videos? Oh, God, no. I don't like to watch myself. No. I'm, I am my biggest bully. I will pick myself apart, so I just don't even put myself through that torture. Yeah, and I, I did, it's so weird, like, when I go to the airport, I can't even stand to hear myself talk. I don't know how people have put up with me for this long because I can barely put up with me. Every time I go to the airport in Nashville, I hear myself over the intercom and I'm going, do I really sound like that? And I did this when I was like 19, 20 years old, recorded this like, welcome to Nashville or hey y'all, welcome to Nashville. It's Kelly Pickler. Make sure you got your right bags and you know, so, and she's laughing. And every, I mean, every time I go to the airport, the TSA, the guy or, or a girl will, you know, look at my passport and plane ticket before I go through security. And they're like, we hear you every day. And I'm like, I am so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I apologize. What creative ways have you had family gatherings or been able to see your family? Let's see, I, I'd say we've uh, had our small group that, you know, has gotten together and we'll go kayaking. Fun. So, I mean, you're pretty, you're on your own little boat, so there's, you know. Um, uh, let's see, hiking, um, outdoor stuff. Uh, one of my dearest best friends uh, has a farm, her grandmother's farm, and I've been spending a lot of time out there helping her take down wallpaper and paint. Mm -hmm. I love home projects. Um, my husband loves to do woodworking and. So he's been building a lot of frames and stuff. Um, let's see, gardening. Um, I have uh, the same my same farm friend. She's coming over later this evening so that we can can the rest of uh, our tomatoes. Fun. Um, she has a garden as well. So yeah, I mean, we just again been common sense distancing and right. and whatnot. Song that sums up your quarantine. Well, I've been listening to a lot of Lee Bryce because my husband produces him. Uh huh. And um, his new record is amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I'm married to the producer. <laughs> it is so good. I feel so special that I get to hear everything from the work takes um, to you know the studio version all the way to the mastered version. I have just, I mean, I'm in awe with mm -hmm. all of the songs. It is so good. So I've been listening to all of Lee Bryce's new records that nobody's heard yet.